In this video we have three shooters and a group of five hogs. These hogs are actually feeding at the entrance to a corral type trap. But they've been coming for a week and these are older, bigger, smarter hogs. They're not actually entering the trap. They eat the corn right up to it and then stop. This one over to the left is alerted on us. So one shooter is going to take him out. I'm going to take out the third hog in this group. And then the third shooter is going to take the one closest to us, which is actually the largest hog in this group. What ends up happening is this hog that I'm aiming at right now goes down dead right there. The first hog closest to it gets hit in the rear leg, and you'll see him spin around from the sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. God. Oh, that one got back up. Tough. God almighty. Do you see him? There you go. We're going to play it back in slow motion. The first hog I shoot goes down dead. Doesn't even move, doesn't twitch anything. They're done. You see the right, the hog to the right here. He took a hit to the rear leg. It spun him around and slowed him down where he didn't get out of there. So I gave him another shot to the chest cavity there. You saw the hit. This hog took a 5.56 VMAX to the spine and he was anchored also. I took another shot at him and missed on that one. This second shot puts him out of his misery and takes him out and he's done. Now as I scan back over just to see if there's any hogs left, any targets left, this big hog starts to get back up. Now the first shot, like I said, it wasn't a vital shot. It it was a leg shot, just spun him around. But the second one was straight to the chest. There's a, a, a third shot on him. That one went into the chest again. This is a 6.8 shooting a 120 grain SST bullet. It's a devastating round. It's very effective and it's close. You see his lungs and his heart are taken out, but this boar just does not want to stop. There's the fourth hit. It hits him in the neck again. Fifth hit, I shoot him right behind the shoulder, trying to take out his heart and legs and, and stop him again. He is still going. And finally, one more to the neck. And he still tries, but he, he's done, and he expires here. This is a very effective caliber and a very effective bullet. This hog was at least 300 pounds. I didn't have scales and I didn't have my measuring tape. He's probably a little bit more. But they are tough. That's why you need to use the proper caliber and the proper bullets. If you make a hog like this mad and you're out there by yourself and they decide to take you out, you need something that's going to anchor them. And here he is. You see these two hogs on the side are, are well over 200 pounds. And there he is in front of me. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please remember to like it and please click here to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.